Hello YouTube, this is Fishhead Fishing, and it has been a really long time since I've made a video. My last video was about a year ago, I think, so a really long time ago. But uh, the ice fishing season is about midway now. We're late into January, I believe today's the 28th, and I was just felt like doing a review on my uh, clam uh, small tackle box that I use for ice fishing, so let's get into it. So this tackle box is a uh, very small tackle box, and I enjoy it very much. I can keep, I usually keep about 20 to 30 lures in here, and it stores them all very nicely. It's got nice little pockets right here uh, that are uh, like uh, hatches or latches, so that way they can um, they can keep like soft plastics. Like I I usually keep some uh, Trigger X mush mustache worms up in here. This space is very nice. This, I usually, it's bigger, so I can keep, like, a, um, uh, like, a little Swedish pimple, like this guy, or I can keep a bigger version of a Swedish pimple, like a little tiny blade bait. It works perfectly for that. Perfect. And then this guy's, I just, it's kind of a miscellaneous, whatever I feel like using that day. This is a lure of choice, definitely. It's a nice little, uh, Northland Tackle Macho Minnow, and this color is just fantastic for stained water. It's shiny. And the red hook adds a lot to it. In the uh, next hatch, it's just like the other one, but uh, a little bigger boxes, which is always a plus. I keep uh, more Swedish pimples. This is usually where I keep all my like linked baits with like uh, swivels and stuff, just because they don't fit as well in here and they bounce around when I'm using it. But and on all of my Swedish pimples, I have single hooks because I uh, primarily do catch and release, and I want to make sure the fish are okay. And then, um, this guy, I don't remember where I got this, but this is kind of like, it's got the big, uh, blade chain, kind of like a Wally Talker, I think, that Lindy Rig makes, or Lindy makes, and I love this thing. I use this for pike mainly, which is surprising, but I hook a minnow on there, and it works great. Now into my panfish stuff, this is my main panfish gear right all up in here, also, um, my, I got this not too long ago. It's a little uh, clam. I believe it's a ca uh, caviar drop. It, I haven't used it yet, but it seems promising. The colors are very nice. The pink makes it seem almost like salmon roe. Um, my next jigs that I use, these are the ones I use most, and I catch the most fist on, fish on. This is a, these are Scandia jigs. A uh, huge shout out to Scandia jigs. They make my favorite jigs. They never bend out, and they're just really high quality. This is one of their larger sizes. I believe it's 132nd or maybe 116th, but it is just a perfect jig. It's uh, glow in the dark, so you hit it with a little UV light and it'll stay glowing for about 30 seconds. So you, if you can drop it down fast enough, it works beautifully. And the hook is about the same size as the smaller one, so it maintains that low profile so the fish have a hard time seeing the hook. And then this again, I have three of these, I think two of them are on rods. These are the miniature version, and these are 132nd, I believe. And they uh, work perfectly as well. This is probably my favorite jig all around. They just function amazing. My next uh, jig, I don't use these too often, but they're like a little VMC larva jig. And they've got this little plastic larva, and I'm not a big fan of it, but... Uh, my dad likes it, and my buddies really like it, so I need to test that out. My next favorite one I learned about from In-Depth Outdoors. This is a uh, pug bug. I believe it's also VMC, and this guy is just a powerhouse, especially in this color. It's a, a, a green with a transitioning into yellow, transitioning into kind of an orangish red belly. It's um, This is a great stained water lure again. I really only fish stained water where I fish. So this just works out perfectly for me. I also have this in a smaller size. This one I use for clear water. It's a little more natural. And this size is about the same as the smaller Scandia jig. So this one works just, it also works beautifully. Uh, and then I have two of each of those right here. Uh, the next jigs I don't use too often, but they work great for the uh, bigger sunfish and pan, just panfish in general. These are also a VM, VMC jig. I got these, they have like little uh, little trailers on them, and I just don't like them. So I threw the trailers away, and now I really only use uh, clam soft plastics and um, 
Trigger X soft plastics. They work fantastically, especially on these guys with the larger hook. It just makes for a better presentation. And then I have three of those and two of the red models. They are also work beautifully. And this is just a great uh, selection that I have. And if you would like to get any of these, I believe all of these lures can be purchased at Dick's Sporting Goods, except for that one, or Cabela's. Uh, they all carry great lures, and they're just great stores. And um, also, if there's any companies out there, small or large, that are looking to sponsor a young angler to help him off, um, I am always open to that. And whether it's line, rods, um, it could even just be like a plastic baggie to hold your lures, or whatever you think is uh, prominent gear. Uh, just uh, send me a message and I will gladly get back to you. I'll make a review of it. Um, and yeah, so thank you for watching my video. It's been a long time. Uh, please like and subscribe. Fish head out.